Hello, welcome to my NASDAQ YouTube channel, a YouTube channel focused on cyber security practice. In this video, I'm going to show you a Cloudflare API usage here. Uh, I found this project from GitHub. Basically, this GitHub project is showing a script dynamically updating uh, Cloudflare DNS record. The usage is very simple. I'm going to show you how to use in this project script, Python script, to update your DNS record, basically. So let's uh, focus it. After you focus it, and then you can clone code from your repository. Three. Um, we're gonna use a virtual machine to show you how to do that. I'm using a Microsoft Azure. Um, I'm gonna add a virtual machine. I'm gonna use an existing test resource group. We're gonna put the name. We're going to use in Ubuntu server 18.04 LTS version. We're going to use in standard B1S. Password. To make it simple. All settings will be default other than those basic settings. Review and create. There's a warning message say we have SSH port opening to the internet. That's fine. Validation passed. We can create our virtual machine now. So deployment is in process. A deployment is completed. Let's uh, go to resources. virtual machine so we got the public IP address we're gonna create in connections Okay, we connect to it using our username and password. Update the system. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna clone this repository. 
project to the our virtual machine. So using a git command, git clone command, and we can go into Cloudflare dash DDNS. And there is one thing because this is Python script, so we need to install Python. Um, before that, we need to get install pip. We need to install Python pip. Okay. Okay, let's uh, continue. So we're gonna install the requirements for this run this Python script and we're gonna we're gonna copy this template to configure the YAML file and then we're gonna change our YAML file here so here is um, some specific settings you need your API key, you need your Cloudflare login email and the let domain and also the subdomain you created. Uh, let's go to check that out. Login. So first thing, of course, you need to find out your key, and uh, it in uh, my profile. You will find the API tokens. You will see your global API key. Okay, we got our key and um, we can put into our configuration file. And the email. My domain here. Also subdomain, I'm gonna put the DDS. Control X, save the configuration. Check the configuration again to make sure. Okay, now we go back to our web page create a subdomain add a record called ddns we put a one to one to one to one save it now we need to run this python command to make the changes so we know our IP I have is 52.255.144.114 and we set up our DDNS, this subdomain is 1.1.1 .1 .1. so after we run Python command we should be able to make that changes So 
Python and run a script and uh, based on our configuration file. They are making a call. So let you will see source time John name DDNS name and then let's go back to here to check it again. Now you know it's one, but after we refresh the page, DDNS it has been changed. One more thing we can do is you want to set it up as every 15 minutes to make that uh, check and then change the IP on your Cloudflare DDNS subdomain. Um, so then you can do set up a schedule task. So every 15 minutes, you need to know the path, it's loot slash cloudfare dash DDNS, so we can try that again. make a change so let's all change then in every 15 minutes the system gonna automatically check your IP address and modify your cloud flared subdomains DNS IP that's all I want to show you today thank you for watching <laughs>